it's great to have you here back in the Pentagon. Uh, this is your second uh, visit here, uh, our, our first together. I was commenting to the secretaries, quite the marathon runner, that maybe next time <laughs> on, your, on your visit we can do some uh, physical therapy together. <laughs> but but we're, uh, we're very pleased to have you here to spend time with us, and I think it's a good follow-up to Secretary Pompeo's visit, yes, yes. and to reinforce the strength of our relationship, and to talk about building on that relationship going forward, particularly as the Indo-Pacific continues to grow, not just in its strategic importance, but economic importance. There are defense cooperation opportunities between our countries, there's opportunities to fight terrorism together. And I look forward to some very productive conversations yes, today. Yes. Please. Yeah. I just read my statement. Yeah. Mr. Secretary, good afternoon, members of the, the U.S. delegation and my delegation. Good afternoon. First, uh, let me express my appreciation for your warm welcome this afternoon. And also, let me congratulate you for assuming the position of acting. Department of Defense. I and uh, Jim Mattis uh, had a very close working relationship in it several times, and I believe that the Philippine-U.S. defense relation will continue to develop, and the real leadership based on our mutual commitment to work together in addressing some security challenges that uh, affect us. Our alliance has remained strong despite the complex dynamic security environment that are uh, evolving all over the world. This has made this has been made possible due to the close engagement that our countries have maintained throughout the years to ensure that our alliance remains responsive to the challenges of the 21st century. To keep the momentum, we need to continue assessing the arrangements we have to ensure that they enable us to attain our mutual interests. My department will continue to work closely with your your side in this regard. I encourage our officials to sustain close consultations through existing dialogue mechanisms to include, but not limited to, the Philippines US Bilateral Strategic Dialogue, or the BSD, and the Mutual Defense Board Security Engagement Board, MDBSAB, which is uh, held every year. We welcome the steady uh, progress of the implementation of the EDCA. We welcome the completion of projects in Basa Air Base, which we inaugurated with your ambassador this year, and hope that the rest of the projects are successfully carried out in the four other sites that we have previously agreed upon. This month, we will be holding the 34th iteration of the annual Balikatan exercise. It started yesterday. Out of all our activities, the Balikatan exercise is especially critical as it is the main exercise that develops interoperability between our forces. As such, I encourage our planners to come up with ways to ensure that the Balikatan exercises addresses the training needs of both armed forces. Furthermore, allow me to reaffirm the agreement between both sides to ensure that our, all our activities are of high value and great impact as well as mutually beneficial. Let me reiterate our appreciation for the U.S. continued support in Marawi and other terrorism-related incidents. We have a long story of counter-terrorism cooperation, and we hope to sustain this through real-time information, sharing, intelligence exchange, and training. The Philippines also continues to appreciate the U.S.'s support for the Philippines' effort to build our overall defense capabilities. <coughs> The Armed Forces Modernization Program remains a priority, and we appreciate the U.S. contribution to this program. And we have been, Mr. Secretary, been receiving a lot of equipment uh, in the recent years, especially last year. I look forward to a fruitful discussion this afternoon. Thank you for the invitation, and I'm sure that our meeting today will be just as productive as my previous official visit last September. Thank you. Mr. Secretary, is cutting off U.S. assistance to countries in Central America going to have a negative effect? I mentioned earlier I plan to talk with Secretary Pompeo later this afternoon to 
discuss what the plan is going <coughs> forward regarding those countries. Is Might it have a negative effect on U.S. military and the military relationships with those countries, sir? I think our military military relationships will continue. We've had long-term relationships, and that's why those meetings with Secretary or Pompeo are very critical, so we can discuss that going forward. Mr. Minister, Mr. Minister I wonder, sir, what's your concern about the rising uh, of China in the South China Sea, as well as its very hungry appetite to use part of Subic Bay? Are you yes, me? sir. Yeah, it's, it's very concerning. Um, in fact, uh, they've been doing uh, the uh, building of uh, island from, from reefs since, uh, I think, uh, 2011 or 2012. So it concerns us because they are encroaching on our EAZ. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, with regard to Subic, uh, the, they are interested in Subic. There are two uh, shipbuilding, Chinese shipbuilding companies who are interested from the get-go when we learn about the uh, financial trouble of Hanjin. And they are waiting in the wings. But we are also talking to a lot of uh, interested parties from the US, from Japan, Korea, from European countries, and from Singapore and Indonesia. Thank you. So, uh, but if uh, no one will be interested, and uh, we do not want others to come in, the, the, the country, the, the government of the Philippines is ready to uh, get in and run the shipyard ourselves. Mr. Secretary, Thank you. could you give us an update on where things stand in, with the new Niger review? Well, just let, let me start with to the families. I'm not trying to delay a report out. When I undertook the role, I wanted time to review the investigation, and really this is just a kind of an expedited way for me to make sure I have enough time to understand the uh, the reports and the details. So I expect this to go very, very quickly. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.